My name's Santa Montefiore. I'm an author of novels. I write one a year so far. I'm on my 14th, but 13 are already out here in Holland. Well, as a child, I wrote stories. It was the only thing I was really good at. And at school, um, I wrote stories for friends. And that developed into writing books. I never expected to be published. It was always, obviously, a dream to see my books there on the bookshelves. But uh, I think it's just really a love of telling stories and a love of communicating that propels me to write book after book after book. I think it's a simple case of I write for myself. I don't really think of my reader when I'm writing. I'm writing for my pleasure. I'm expressing myself in a very genuine way. Um, I'm writing from my heart. I'm not thinking what people want to read or what would appeal. If I was commercially minded, I might think in a cynical way, oh, I better write a little bit more like this to appeal to the men. But I don't, I really don't think commercially. I really do it for pleasure. So I write for myself. I'm a woman. It's kind of obvious that I'm going to appeal to other women. I lived there, I belonged, I worked there, I had lots of friends, I really felt I was part of the place and I went back after a year to England to study Spanish and Italian at university and after a year in England I went back to Argentina to find that it wasn't the same. My year, that amazing idyllic year I'd lived had vanished and I couldn't get it back. A lot of the young people had moved to Europe to study or America to study and didn't go to the farm on weekends like they used to so I think my world had dispersed and I was standing there expecting it all to be the same and wanting it all to be the same. So the story was really an allegory of my love affair with Argentina and my desire or my longing to bring something very special from the past back and of course we can't do that. I wanted to write um, a novel with a very strong uh, spiritual dimension. That does come across in most of my other books but this time I wanted to go further and I wanted to write half of the book narrated in the voice of a woman who's dead or in spirit. Um, and I decided uh, to set it in Ireland because I needed a new location. I'd done Italy and France and I always try and think of something new. It's for my enjoyment, really, if I've just written a book that's based in, uh, in Italy, I don't want to go back to Italy because then I start repeating the themes that I've already written about in my last book. So for me, I need to be refreshed. I need something new. So Ireland is a place that I spent childhood summers and it's very different in tone from Italy and France. It's very rugged, wild, untamed tempestuous, it's very beautiful in a rather haunting way, so it's a good setting for a ghost story really. Um, and I just weaved the story around that. I really didn't have much of an idea when I started and as always happens with my books, I slightly panic when I start because I think, oh my god, can I do it again? Can I think of something? And it happens. As I start writing, it's like a world opens up before me and then I dive into my adventure.